Lynch. Uh, on this episode, I'll be going out with the kayak and go test it out on the water. Uh, last video I said that uh, there's maybe a month before I can test it out. Uh, we had a couple weeks of uh, nice weather. Uh, it's still cold. It's still cold outside. It's maybe uh, maybe around uh, four four degrees Celsius. Four degrees. Why well, no pussy? So uh, we're, today we're gonna go on on the river. I'm gonna show you uh, what I got into my survival bags. Uh, we're gonna take the kayak out for the first time and up the river, up the current. We're gonna face the river with this amazing kayak and I can't wait to try it out. So uh, there's the, the, the equipment I will be bringing on this adventure today. I'll make a quick tour for you of what I am bringing on the water today. So I have this pan to cook the meal. I have this first aid kit in case of an emergency. I can patch myself up. I have this multifunctional pliers that can be useful. I had this little knife. Of course, I have my my whole machete, 20 years old machete that came with me on all the adventures I go. I have my tactical tomahawk that is very really useful uh, to cut wood. I have my fast drinking bags uh, for my uh, fast water supply. Here I have some expedition boots uh, where when uh, I have set up my my uh, my camp. I'll put those on uh, to go uh, gather some resources. Of course, I have my bag in which I put all the uh, essential survival equipment in. This is my cooler for my food uh, reserve. I have some spare socks because uh, there's some chance that my, my my shoes get wet. So, to uh, especially today because it's it's four degrees Celsius outside. Uh, I want to be sure that I have a and a backup if my uh, uh, my shoes or my feet get wet to uh, get some heat. I have a foldable tactical shovel to dig. I have a little coat in case it's getting too cold. I have this little seat give a little break for my ass. I have my adventure hat. This is uh, some grocery bags to put uh, the resources I'm going to be gathering whether it's it's uh, whatever rocks or wood or whatever I'll be needing to uh, transport the resources for building the camp I have to mention uh, in there is my uh, wood starting uh, equipment so I have uh, dry paper, I had the uh, fire starter equipment, I got lighter, I got also uh, equipment uh, for cooking. Uh, I have those little gloves that in case my hands get a little cold and I need to warm them up. That's pretty much it for the equipment I'll be bringing on this uh, adventure today. Uh, of course there's, there will be a little bit more inside the hull of the, the kayak but that's pretty much the essential of what I'm going to bring today. Hey, also in this video I'll be teaching you how to make yourself an homemade ice packs, uh, uh, completely free if, uh, if you're drinking milk, and uh, and also it can be used as a uh, food container or uh, replace. You can replace the Ziplocs basically. So here's your typical milk bags that you find it in a package. So you take you take the milk bags, you wash it up. You dry it up and it can be used and you can also make some ice pack with it. Eh? Two items with only one recycle item. See this as ice pack? It's a milk bag and it didn't cost nothing. So Since this equipment is pretty heavy, you want to take the, your boat or your kayak out close to the water and load it 
after because uh, the the kayak still it's it's pretty heavy so you want to have uh, the less weight on it when you're moving it around and meanwhile while you're here if you're liking the content if you want to see me more do more crazy adventures showing you some more crazy stuff just click and like and subscribe to the channel now we're gonna attach a rope to the kayak to make it slide it gently in the hill the boat and the other equipment uh, near the river we can go ahead and load up the boat our first spot get a little first look of the nature's beauty first I gotta say it's pretty hard to uh, to go against current of course it's a it's a big boat and it requires a lot of uh, force to to get it moving forward so if you want to go against current and have it loaded up like this you have to paddle but uh, overall it's uh, it feels quite safe it feels uh, easy to handle for a big kayak like this and uh, I gotta see also it's really stable here we have those pretty North American Stutard can uh, keep uh, clacking and quinking uh, their days around days not around the clock peaceful little canal <laughs> Thank you. 
now that uh, we arrive at a little island our goal is to go sand beach out there uh, so I think this is gonna be the more convenient place to set up our base camp near let's get back to the water oh, well nice looks like we fallen ourselves into a, a sandy paradise looks comfortable here let's go take a look well, now that uh, the canoe is safely landed we can take a look at our new spot with little rocks to make the water transition softer and more stable than the, as you can see in the beginning it was all it was all muddy and really difficult to move around so this is will be our exiting route i want to go the more up the river as i can be so uh, when it's late and uh, i'm exhausted uh, i just have to go on the current and uh, make myself glide down the to my um, to my house This tourism is really exciting, but we need to find a place to uh, to make a camp uh, in order to cook food. And uh, this place is way too exposed, so we're gonna go back to the river and gonna go continue our quest for the perfect spot. Now, finally, I'm into a calmer spot of the river. I can make a, a video shot of the kayak. I gotta say, I've been into really shallow water, and it's really stable. The, our boat ready to sail out. And I get our gear a little bit dry, a little bit drier. My hat is pouring out of water. I'm happy I put this uh, water repellent cover survival backpack because there's a lot of water splashing with the with the paddle paddle that uh, is a little bit expensive, but it worth it worth all the. The pennies invested, it gives me all the power and the resistance and the lightweight capabilities to go against the current. Here's the boat in all its beauty into its natural environment. Damn it was good. I'm already satisfied with it. Really. So once again, I find this spot too exposed for its base camp. So uh, we'll take a little bit of uh, our food in, and we'll go uh, back again up the river, get some energy, and get back on the water. So I get a, a closer peek out of those outards. Looks like I'm not the only one on water today. So we have loaded every day, everything back up and uh, we're ready to go on the next island and battle against the current. We're making slow progress because there's a lot of current and it and makes the, the journey really hard. So there's so, mu so much current here and the water is so shallow that we have no choice to, to pull the boat to our next location which I found a nice spot on the side of the river to uh, make our our camp and stop warms ourselves up because this water is freezing cold and we'll need to get ourselves warm quickly the boat to a safe location so oh shit she doesn't sound out So I just lost my my sandal and nearly uh, lost in the in the current. So I'll go barefoot from now on. So we uh, we arrived on our next base camp, and uh, the water is really shallow. So 
so we'll go onto those rocks and it'll be a perfect spot to get ourselves warm I'm soaking wet and it still seems to work. I don't know how the audio was still registered, but uh, yeah, I dropped the camera in our river uh, <laughs> and it still, still seems to work. So thanks for the uh, water protection on that. Uh. So it looks like this is gonna be our base camp for now. I don't see the next highland, so we'll have to set up here and uh, take a little bit of rest. Hmm, this seems to, to be the perfect spot to make our, our clothes dry and make our food. So we're gonna head and set up our a fire just up here in this little cave. Now that we have found our spot with a nice uh, naturally made oven, we can set up our gear and make uh, make dry, make our stuff dry, make the, the boat dry a little bit and enjoy modest nature's view. More and more late. It's getting so it's getting colder and colder so we wanna we wanna go and start a fire as soon as possible to warm up our clothes, prepare our food. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a little fire. going and next step we have some uh, dead wood just right uh, beside us so we can uh, so our fire is nice and toasty so soon we're gonna get ready and uh, prepare the meal okay, let's try our snow and we can enjoy this beautiful view Uh, wood fire hot dogs plain it do the job tastes really good now it's time to make our way home
away and now it's time to relax and uh, take a chill that's my feet covered in, covered in mud so hope you guys enjoyed so until next time keep on wrenching